Welcome to Master Sound Studio videos called In The Mix. My name is Elias and this is the first video. Today I'm going to show you how I'm working with MIDI drums and bass drums compression. My main MIDI drums are the Steven Slade Drums Platinum Edition, as you can see here. The drum bass is loaded with uh, VBC Rock comes from Steven Slade. In the master fader, uh, you can see the VCC Virtual Mix Bus. Uh, I'm also using the Open Air Convolution Reverb. It's a great reverb plugin. Uh, comes with uh, Presiono Studio One. Um, and some equalization. Uh, this is a Pro EQ loaded with uh, Studio One as well. So. Um, Let's start showing the showing the um, the tools. What I'm doing, working with the plugins, uh, doing some A/B, and listen how the drums sounds like. So before we start, uh, listen to the EQ, the VBC Rock, and the Virtual Mix Bus uh, VCC over here. Um, let's start listening to the main drum beat. Um, how it sounds like without the drums, uh, without the drums reverb, the VBC, the Pro EQ, and then we start um, tuning the drum bus. So let's start listening how it sounds like um, from the box. Okay, this is a plain simple drum beat, but already sounds pretty amazing. Uh, this is the Chris Lord Algae Rocket 8 uh, from Steven Slade Drum SSD4. Uh, what I've done here in the mixer, uh, I've done some job here tuning the kicks. Um, I've done nothing with the snares, I pretty much I love the snares. Um, and here uh, played with the uh, FX buses. Uh, it's pretty amazing what this kit has. Has uh, two room mics uh, and a great FX here. It comes with a great FX. Um, as you can see here, all my um, instruments from this mixer are routed to the output ST1, which is this drum bus over here. So let's start with the uh, Pro EQ from Presiono Studio One. Um, this is the main uh, EQ of the Studio One. Uh, what I've done here, maybe too harsh on the 6K, let me turn it to 4 dBs. What I've done here so far is to give a boost about 2 dBs on the 150, 3 dBs on 2K, and 4 dBs on 6K. These settings, what I've done here with these settings is to give a boost on this general mix here um, the drums are, are all ready sound amazing so far but I like to EQ the drum bus just to give it some boost and some air so let's listen again uh, the drum beat uh, with the Pro EQ on it I think you can listen to the difference. Uh, more air, more um, bass around 150 hertz. Um, we boost these frequencies to give more breathe to the general mix we've done here inside the SSD4 console. I really like how it sounds like so far. Uh, let me open to the master fader. Um, 
let's activate the four the Brit 4k let let's see how it sounds like you have noticed the differences by ch when I changed the buttons here with the different consoles I really like the generic Brit 4k sound uh, it's more more um, natural to me uh, also here I've gave the uh, the non the non-linear characteristics of this console about 3 dBs uh, it adds more um, uh, if you like more uh, analog warmth to the general mix um, now let's continue with the VBC rack what we have here as you have may know this is the most um, amazing plugin so far with uh, with uh, bass compressors here uh, FG Grey, FG Red and FG Mu uh, three legendary co uh, bass compressors uh, what we what you see here, what I'm using here is the FG Grey, the Focusrite Red, the FG Mu, it's a Varim Mu or Fairchild chip compressor um, but um, on FG Mu I have used no compression just um, I want the signal to go through the uh, the tube uh, signal path and capture this uh, tube warmth um, give some space to the um, Kimballs and snare um, and what we have here is about uh, one and a half dBs let me adjust the threshold a bit so you will notice that you will notice that here with uh, FG Red and FG Mu um, the, the drum beat gets more punchy and get more low end and more more vibe and more um, analog and more musical so let's hear again um, once more the drums beat uh, with uh, VCC and Pro EQ and then I will enable the VBC rack let's hear once more the drums let's see with VBC notice here the uh, the VU meters you can listen to the snare get more punch in the kick more um, more low end in the kick uh, again, listen what happens if we close the FGMU. I believe you can you can see what happens if we enable and disable the FGMU that the signal loses its clarity sometimes it's because the tubes um, come in and come out of the game uh, this musicality of the tubes is the game changer uh, which I really like when the FGMU is uh, on the signal path so this is why I really like to use the FGRED and FGMU so let's continue um, uh, as we said before um, Steven Slade drums and uh, CLA pack comes with uh, FX channel and two great room mics uh, that from the bleed level you can adjust yourself and give some FX and some room uh, to your mix for its as you can see here for its drum individually but um, I really like to add some reverb uh, on the mix bus as well so for this situation I really love the open air convolution reverb that comes 
with Studio One um, Professional. I don't know if uh, Open Air comes with other uh, versions of Studio One, but um, this is a great, great, great convolution reverb. It has some great effects, holes, plate, posts, rooms. Um, what I came up with is the bogum plate for my drums. Um, maybe you can find something that you really like. Uh, I came up with this one for my mixes. And let's hear once more the drums with VVBC, the Pro EQ and the VCC or the Master Fader. And we'll enable the drums reverb uh, on the way. Okay, with the drums reverb. I think it sounds amazing, don't you? Uh, maybe, maybe it's too much. If it's too much for you, you can adjust the volume that you send from here to the effect channel there, as you can see in Studio One right click here add effect channel you can create a new effect channel here let's delete this um, so from this blue line over here you can change adjust the volume so if you don't like the volume that you send the drum bus to the effect channel you can adjust it from here uh, for me I think this is the ideal level um, <laughs> I think they sound amazing. Um, uh, they fit exactly to the levels of the general song I made here so far. I can provide you the link to the song so you can listen to it and see for yourself what I came up with. Um, so this is pretty much um, how I'm working with my MIDI drums and the tools uh, from Slate Digital and Presonus. Uh, again, let's listen to the drums once more without the plugins. Okay, once more, let's activate all the plugins and the chain. So that was the video of how do I work with my MIDI drums, my tools, my reverbs, my bass compressors, how do I EQ them. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, my name is Elias and uh, please feel, feel free to comment, share and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Bye bye.